Now, in this case, let's say for example, if you want to, now we are already done with basic uh, this buttons with icon. Now let's say disabled button. Right now, the topic is disabled button. I wanted to show the button, but it has to be disabled. It has to be disabled. That means show me the button, but it should be disabled button. Do not activate it right now. If I click on that button also, nothing should be happen. Nothing should be happen on that button. Now, how can we implement a disabled button? So here it is a buttons that are disabled cannot be clicked on is called as a disabled buttons. Disabled buttons can be implemented in the various ways. So we need to use the variant attribute. Now using the variant attribute, you can specify here if it is a variant base and it is able to equal to true. That means just specify here base button and disabled equal to true. That means just disable it. Now exactly the same, same similar to the basic button, but only the extra attribute you need to add it here, disabled equal to true. If you say disabled equal to true, then it buttons will be disabled. Now in the real time, why do we use a disabled button? Now disabled buttons are, let's say whenever a status is, does not say working, let's take as a case object. Now in the case object, we have a three type of a status. One is a new status, working and escalator and escalator. So when we have it, these three different type of status on the case, whenever the status is changed to working, whenever the status is changed to working, then only enable this particular button. Otherwise, disable this button. I do not want to perform any action by clicking on that button. So in that scenario, we will use in the real time, which is called as a disabled button. We will use it in the re real time, which is called disabled button. So only one attribute change for the disabled button compared to basic button, which is a attribute called disabled, disabled equal to true. And how can I make disabled equal to true and false based on the status? It's a dynamic, right? So right now what you are giving it, you have to, you are giving the disabled equal to true. In the lightning button, you will specify the disabled equal to true. Right, so if you say disabled equal to true, every time it will be a disabled, the button will be disabled. Instead of hard coding it, right, so what you need to do, whenever the case status is changed, capture that information and store it into the attribute. Store it into the attribute. Let's say attribute name is case status. Now, once you store that information into the case at case status, now here you can specify now, whenever the working equal status equal to working, you will change the value equal to true, case status equal to true. Then call that disabled equal to b dot case status. Disabled equal to b dot case status. So it said dynamically we are capturing it true or false. True or false dynamically captured. So based on the dynamic value, it is going to display the button as a normal button or else disabled button. That's about the disabled button.